Hello, my name is Kara Lucas, and I will be walking you through my MLS capstone portfolio that I have completed in the SLIM, otherwise referred to as the School of Library and Information Management program. I have always been a question asker and a knowledge seeker. These attributes led me to the pursuit of my prior master's degree in philosophy. I guess you could say I'm a big picture kind of thinker and I'm fascinated by the love of wisdom, as in philosophy, or the love of accessing information, as in librarianship. Additionally, I enjoy the research process and the winding road it often takes. For both of these reasons, I feel at home in the library environment and realize that my professional career ought to be in the information industry. My coursework has made me aware of how multifaceted libraries of all types are, and also how deep-rooted and ever-evolving their practical and theoretical foundations are, and how they influence the development of libraries now and in the future. At this point, I would like to discuss the program outcomes and my artifacts as they relate to the practical foundations of librarianship. In the interest of saving time, I will not be discussing every program outcome. Technological knowledge and skills. Employ current and emerging technologies effectively for communication and to search for, identify, repackage, and deliver information resources. The following project was completed in my information technology course. Creating a website for my hypothetical library was initially daunting given that I had no prior experience. This assignment was important as it taught how to modify a website by using an existing template and thereby create something new. This is a skill I could envision using in multiple professional environments. I now have a solid appreciation for how the design and functionality of the website impact the user's learning experience. Research. Evaluate, critique, and discuss new research in the field. Assess library or information problems and identify an appropriate research method. The following projects were completed in my research in library and information science course. These assignments were especially interesting to me given that at that point I had already had a research desk apprenticeship at the CU Boulder Norland Library. Writing this paper was interesting for me on several levels. Seeing my thoughts and observations on information literacy and college-level students confirmed through empirical research was eye-opening. Using quantitative data and learning more about how different research methods work was important knowledge for me to obtain, given that my prior knowledge was minimal. The poster board taught how to persuasively use research findings and lobby for change. Administration and management aid an effective and appropriate change in library and information services through collaboration, communication, and collegiality. The following project was completed in my Management and Information Organizations course. This collaborative paper allowed me to apply business principles to an organization. In this case, the Arvada branch of Jefferson County Public Libraries, where I work, to assess organizational strengths and weaknesses and make appropriate recommendations. The SWOT, or Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats Analysis, we applied confirmed some impressions I had as to what was or was not working. Applying quantitative analysis to efficiency evaluations proved highly effective. I realized the importance of being a strategic thinker and understanding my role as it relates to broader organizational goals. The SMART, or Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Reliable, and Timely Analysis, we applied was beneficial to see how to proceed in implementing changes. Now in the professional values section, we will see how the theoretical foundations inform many best practices in librarianship. <coughs> leadership. Demonstrate leadership potential with creativity and problem solving and openness to new ideas. The following project was done 
in a practicum. This was a teaching practicum at the College Hill Library at Front Range Community College. I taught English 121 library instruction sessions to developmental and grade level students. Developmental students are students who are behind in their reading, writing, and comprehension abilities. So this practicum allowed me the opportunity, in addition to obviously teaching the instruction sessions, to explore information literacy by designing a quantitative study. This was initially daunting as numbers are not my forte. However, I knew a quantitative study would yield the most insights. I taught library instruction session, excuse me. The reason I focused on developmental students is because I feel that that population is underserved. I drew from my experience at Norland and my research for my Dow's course in designing study questions. Through the study results, my observations and research confirm my hypothesis that library instruction sessions do improve information literacy levels. I came to understand just how much effort goes into a comprehensive research study. I also came to realize just how much I enjoy teaching and helping students. And here are the questions. Integrity, exhibit ethical behavior, knowledge, and attitudes. The following reflective essay was written in my intellectual freedom course. Intellectual freedom stands at the cornerstone of a society at the forefront of the information age. Access to knowledge is imperative for an informed citizenry, and libraries are essential for the dissemination of information. I have become more aware of what a delicate balance it sometimes is for librarians to preserve access to information for everyone against oppositional, political, cultural, religious, commercial, or otherwise forces. I have recently become aware of how a well-crafted policy is very important in order to smoothly navigate conflicts. Connecting my commitment to intellectual freedom with my prior knowledge was interesting, and I realized how much I was inspired by Thoreau's essays on civil disobedience. This section of my work has both theoretical and practical artifacts in it. This was a study guide on philosophy. It was done in my reference and user services course. So this particular study guide was designed to have a thorough focus and cover key resources in the topic of our choice. In class, we taught from it as if we were teaching an instruction session. Obtaining all journals and databases from the Emporia State William Allen White Library was not possible and forced me to be extra creative in seeking out open source information. I had to resist the urge to add in some favorites as they were too advanced for my introductory audience. I have, my experience has shown me that if properly designed, study guides are an effective tool for students. This assignment on the Chinese library classification system was for the organization of information course. This assignment was loosely focused on a topic of our choice. The only specification was that it would be a literature review. It was occasionally difficult to find sources which talked about the same point on issues. I selected the Chinese classification system as I wanted to focus on a society where information is often censored. Learning about the history of their classification system provided insight into their history and culture. I saw the extent religion influenced their literary traditions. Learning the development of libraries in other countries gave me a greater appreciation for their historical, current, and future importance worldwide. And now here is my current redesigned resume. It reflects my skills, attributes, and knowledge, which I have gleaned from my academic and professional experience. And I would like to say, I'd like to end by saying that my coursework has reinforced how much I enjoy helping people, whether it's helping people find a book at the reference desk, 
or teaching library instruction in a practicum. I enjoy, enjoy connecting people with information and filling in their educational gaps. That to me is where I feel like I can make a real difference. Finally, I would like to close with this E.B. White quote, which exemplifies how I feel about libraries. A library is a good place to go when you feel unhappy, for there in a book you may find encouragement and comfort. A library is a good place to go when you feel bewildered or undecided, for there in a book you may have your questions answered. Books are good company, and sad times and happy times for books are people, people who have managed to stay alive by hiding between the covers of a book. Thank you for your time and attention.